After watching the Perahara last night, we were walking towards the Dalda Maligao this morning. And as you can see, the streets are already packed for tonight's Perahara as well. If you haven't watched our previous videos in this candy series, please make sure you check out them as well. Once we got to the Dalda Malika entrance, there was a little queue as well. But we got through after the security check. And inside it was a bigger queue to get inside the Malika itself. So we decided to roam around and worship the other places too. The Perahara elephants are already stationed around this place. So everywhere you go, you will see a lot of them. About 100 of elephants were stationed there. You can feed them, also take pictures of them as well. Only some of them because some behave a little bit aggressively. And also you can see how they take care of themselves. And some are looking like practicing for what's coming in the Perahara. It is really nice and I know there are a lot of criticism but they are taken good care of. So as you can see there are hundreds of them. Then we once again got towards the Malika, but even then it was even more packed. So we couldn't go inside the Malika itself, but as we were limited on time actually, because we had to catch a train at 3 pm. So we decided to leave this premises for now. And even on our way back, we got to see some more elephants coming in. There was so much of a crowd here. I think the people from last night's Perahara and who have come to today's Perahara as well. There were a lot of them. So with the security checks and everything, the entrance was really packed. On our way out, we met this little cute one, a uh, real photogenic, and we had a couple of photos with this one as well. Then we walked back to our hotel to check out and get our stuff back because we had to catch a train. With that, we roamed around the city a bit and went to the Sahasu, you know, where we had a brunch. I think this place is one of the little gems here. You can really have a good traditional meal if you want. At at a very cheap price as well so i think i would recommend this place for anyone and then we roamed a little more in the city and and that is when i got to see a double decker bus it is a very rare sight in sri lanka so that is another first in my life As you can see, the streets are really packed now. They are waiting all day to watch the Perahara at the night. So because of that, the roads are with heavy traffic as well. And then we went to another place, our final stop of this candy journey. 
that will be another video make sure you subscribe and tune in for that as well bye for now